Hello and welcome again. In this video, I will try to demonstrate for you how we can do a manual partitioning for a disk and prepare it for the OPOS installation. So, in so uh, I prepare a document. It will uh, highlight the technologies and the steps that I'm using. So the the technologies that I'm using, please uh, check this. And if it's fit for what you need, you can continue the video. Um, here I'm using the VMware workstation to demonstrate for you. You can apply here the rest on the real laptop. But after uh, test it and check if it's uh, give the result that you want. And be careful if you have also a dual boot on your system. You need to make sure that you are using the, um, the partition or uh, a disk that you prepare it for the PopOS installation. So the first one is the VMware uh, workstation. I'm using this one as a virtualization environment. UEFI as a firmware. Uh, this is a replacement for the BIOS. GPT also this one is a replacement for the MPR. Uh, GPT partitioning table. Okay, here I'm using LVM2 uh, uh, as a logical volume manager. I'm using two file system, FAT32 and extension or ext4. Of course, I have also the pop OS uh, as operating system. I have it here as a file ISO image. So let's uh, start with creating a pop OS uh, VM. So I will come here. I will create a new virtual machine. I will proceed also with the custom advance. Then I will next. Uh, here I, you should select the ISO image. So I have here the Popos uh, ISO image. Next, select here Linux and select also Ubuntu because Popos uh, is uh, Ubuntu based Linux distribution. So next. Uh, uh, here you can name as you wish. I will name it Pop OS, just like this simple name. Next, um, here I will add more uh, CPUs uh, cores. Of course, I need here also add more extra RAM. Uh, I have enough RAM, so I will give eight uh, eight GB. Uh, for you, it's depend on the your laptop or PC RAM for. Uh, you can select as uh, as you want um, here also address translation okay this one I will use NAT for networking I will keep it as recommended here we will create a new virtual disk so next I will store it in one file and I will use here also 30 uh, GB here the virtual disk name it will be a file on the file system so I will hit next then I will remove here from automatic power on the virtual machine once uh, finish I don't want because we need to custom something once we finish so keep this one deselected uh, here we need to uh, I will remove the printer uh, here I will remove the accelerate 3d so I think everything is fine here. So I will close, hit finish, close. And then here we create successfully the VM. Here we need to edit. So I will edit the, uh, um, the VM. I will go to the options. Then here the advanced. I will select UEFI. I will remove from legacy. So I think they are keeping the legacy for backward compatibility. So all the new systems will be, uh, it will have, uh, it will be support the UEFI. So I will save. Then we can proceed for the starting up, biggest operating system. I will start it up. So I will pause the video until uh, we put up uh, in the system and then I will uh, come back. Okay. Okay, the PopOS started and uh, we can see the screen here. So I will select defaults for now. Um, you can see here we have two options, custom advance and clean installation. So clean installation will let the PopOS do the partition layout uh, by default. 
but for me i found an issue with this one the swab it give eight uh, sorry it will give four gb and for me i need it to be more than eight so i found uh, a problem with this one especially with vmware uh, so i decide to do a custom layout also and uh, uh, okay let's try the demo and show you how we can do this so i will first increase i will search for settings okay i will change the screen size the resolution sorry i will make it uh, like this a little bit wider okay and i will open the terminal sudo minus i let me just show you that. okay the command to be more clear for you it's like this clear and then okay now i will uh, try first find the disk lsplk okay we have it here the disk this will this disk will, will work on okay after we find the disk i need to make sure that also i'm using the efi firmware so mount grip minus i efi as you can see here also i'm using this one so let's start with partitioning using parted uh, program or software with div sda okay so you can type help to check the comments but for me i'm familiar a little bit with these comments so in case if you want you can just press help and check all of them and search on the youtube and check the manual also for this program on uh, on the uh, on the internet so for me right now i will make label uh, gbt I will label this disk to P as GPT, uh, GYD um, partition table. Uh, we're done with this one. Uh, then we will make um, make the first partition, EFI, and then we hear the partition name, and then we will uh, make the file system FAT32. Then we will start with the first megabyte of the disk, and then move to the more okay we create a 2 gb efi partition uh, here inside this partition we will store the boot uh, the boot software and programs this will help us to load the operating system like linux kernel uh, some software needed to the boot and let the operating system up and running uh, in this one, make part uh, recovery. This partition will 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 allow the Pop OS to install the operating system uh, binaries that's need from us. It will be like a, a USB how you are uh, or the ISO image who will be uh, loaded here and uh, written inside this partition. So in case if there is any emergency, so we can. Uh, uh we can uh, recover our system from uh, that uh, from that uh, partition okay so here we will start from the last size 2049 okay and we will add more extra uh, 4 gb so the size once we add will be 610 and 6145 okay now we will add also make part this is the system uh the system the popos uh system will be um a disk will be here to for us for like home var and these uh and the uh, slash root all these uh, um uh directories will be inside this partition so i will put it for now extension 4 as a file system but later i will convert it to the lvm uh, 6145 and then I will use 100% from the remaining space on this disk the SDA disk okay so I will hit enter so now we need to print all what we did so I am doing here like this print as you can see here 
the size is 2 GB here I have uh, 4 GB and as you can see here I have 26.1 GB as a system um, everything is fine so now I need to uh, uh, set some flags to tell the the the, the system that's uh, this uh, this is an EFI or a bootable disk so I will set one uh, BIOS underscore grub sorry grub on set one ES, ESP that's mean EFI system partition will be on also so one is the number of the partition which is EFI so if I do P again or print uh, as you can see here we flag it as a boot and ESP so um, we done here so how we can check if we successfully create the partitions we can go to the G parted as you can see here we create them successfully EFI recovery system so now we need to um, quit from here okay I will clear the screen now uh, if we do lsplk P -P -K, uh, you can see here we have the three partitions this one is the partition that we will use it for the system so I will uh, use LVM on this disk on this partition sorry uh, so we need to create like this um, okay first we need to create a physical volume create div as the a3 okay uh, as you can see here we are successfully created now we need to create a volume group create and then uh, the name will be vg underscore uh, vg underscore system this is a volume group system call it system on the div sda3 here is the comment this one and successfully created and uh, now we will create lv uh, create logical volume so we will create a logical volume like vg underscore uh, system this is the volume uh, group then minus n this is will be the logical volume name lv underscore swap and i will give the uh, minus l capital to give the size in mega and gigabyte so i will give it four or eight eight but for me here because i don't have enough uh, or uh, for it's a demo I will give it 4 GB you can give as much or as you need uh, you can set it fit your need so here uh, because it's uh, for a testing and show you uh, for demonstration I will give it 4 GB I will hit enter uh, LVM created so now I will create LV for the create uh, VG underscore system minus n lv logical volume root for the root file system minus l small then i will give 100 percent free uh, this will use the remain volume group free space so once i hit like this and i will do lv uh, logical volume display so as you can see here I have two um, the swab one two logical volume and the logical uh, the logical volume size is 4 GB and here we get the remaining free space from the volume group system okay so now we are successfully create the logical volume and we partitioning it successfully so we need to refresh to make sure that we have yeah and the mount point is vg system this is the volume group so now we successfully create the the disks and the partitioning and the layout so we need to proceed right now with the pop os installation so i'll close this one 
I will exit from here and exit this one also. And now we can proceed with the Popos installation. Uh, wait until this the installer loaded. Okay, we can proceed with the default. Uh, we can come here, custom advance. As you can see here, we have different. By the way, this one I am not using the encryption for me. I don't like the encryption, uh, especially for the I/O uh, read write and for the CPU uh, cave encryption and decryption. For me, I don't like it. So, if for you, if you want for me to show you how we can encrypt encrypt the using this way and encrypt it, please let me know, and then I will share this with you. Uh, but here, I will right now. Uh, try to configure this one to fit our need so here the first one I created it will be the here put EFI of course the default file system will be FAT32 okay the second one will be the recovery as you can see I can do the custom here slash recovery and it will be also the same FAT32 uh, here as you can see here i create lvm so the lvm will be divided to two partition the first one is root i will keep it the same and the file system by default is extension 4 for me i like extension 4 or ext4 if you want to set different like uh, better fs or xfs it's up to you but for me i prefer the extension 4 i'm using from a uh, uh, long time uh, here we will use this one for swab so i will use here swab file okay then as you can see here we are done mm, and everything is fine uh, i will ease the installation ease and install okay so it will ease the disk and install i will um, pause the video and then i will come back once this the installation finish okay okay as we can see here the installation is finished so we can uh, proceed with the restart uh, we will restart the virtual machine right now um after finish uh, uh, i will increase the size plus plk as you can see here we have the swap here is the system okay swap is 4g and here is the disk size this is for the root clear i think we can um let me just maximize this one okay disk free minus h and you can see here we have the sda1 is boot sda2 is recovery and here we have this one to be as a root file system so we successfully install it so um, uh, I'm done here so um, that's it I hope you enjoy the video and uh, this is my uh, current system customization for the disks I hope you uh, like the video and thank you for watching and see you next video